Yeah, basically I try to raise awareness of the issues related to synthetic biology and gene drives. Both fields, uh, synthetic biology and the subfield of it, which is uh, gene drives, requires some uh, strict regulations and governance to basically make sure that they won't cause harm, they won't basically affect environment, biodiversity and human health. One of the paradox of the gene drive technology and synthetic biology is that when you try to risk assessment, actually doing risk assessment can pose risk itself because to do risk assessment you actually need to apply it in certain case study and by doing so you effectively pose risk. But same time these regulations should allow the continuous progress of the field because uh, these technologies can bring a lot of good. Eradicating malaria or uh, making coral reefs more robust to climate change are only two applications, but there are basically uncounted number of applications. The evolution is quite a slow process and we are trying to basically make it faster, but it's not necessarily good. Like we will try, maybe it will bring good things, maybe it will bring bad things, but let's try, you know, if we don't try, we never know. But also, on the other hand, because evolution is so slow and the changes that we are currently doing to the environment and uh, causing climate change are so pronounced that maybe actually we need this uh, technology and maybe actually we need to kind of make evolution faster in order to survive.